Hey guys, Tabcats here. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try to do a lot more videos. So today we're gonna be testing the DSC. So as you can see here, I have the Impossa on test mode. And we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go ahead and start with um, Away. So let's go ahead and make it think we left. I mean, I guess that wouldn't really matter because I don't have motions. So it's going to revert to away anyway, but let it finish counting down. Jesus, camera. There we go. Exit delay and progress. Excuse me. So, um, we're just going to check out here. Uh, I'm trying to decide what sensor I'm going to do. Honestly, I'm doing it to test the communication. Um, I think we're going to do... Uh, I think we're going to do laundry room window. Yeah. Well, bathroom window, as it's called on the system. Should be getting ready to stop here on a minute, any minute now. There we go. Arm and away mode. Let's go ahead and go here, over here. Go ahead and trip this thing. Bathroom window. Forgot what zone number, but here we go. So, as you can see, it is an alarm. We're going to wait for it to start dialing. And you'll see by this telephone one light flashing. And then we can disarm it. It takes a moment because they had to put a delay on it because of their false alarm stuff. Um, in case you're wondering, it's all hooked up back here to this one right here. There we go. So now it's dialing ADT. Obviously, it's fine. It's on test mode. It's going to shut it off. Enter my code here. All right, so alarm occurred while armed. Scroll zone 11 bathroom window. Pound exit, and it should be beeping to confirm communication here in a moment. Yep, there we go. Let's let that finish resetting. One way I always can tell is it'll say check telephone line. There we go. You just heard it click. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the smoke detector next. So here's our DSC wireless photoelectric. Obviously this is an instant dial. Say fire alarm. That should be zone 13 living room smoke. Go ahead and let that finish resetting. You'll hear it click when it's done dialing. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and give it a moment to reset itself. I don't like doing things too fast, I don't know. Um, oh, yes, continue. Um, so, alright, looks, appears to be back in normal. Let's go ahead and do the panics. Uh, let's start with police. So that's 
dialing. Wait for that to reset and then we'll do medical. Again, as you can see, it's okay because it is on test mode to uh, do my ADT. It's just covering up our address, but that's how we do it. There we go. Alright, so let that reset. We'll do medical, which does not require me to enter a pen code. It resets it or it uh, restores itself because it's not a zone or, you know, it's not audible. So, medical. There we go, and you'll hear in a moment when it finishes dialing out. And then that'll let us know that it's been sent to the central station. There we go, so now if it was an actual emergency and it was not on test, so it's an ambulance, and you don't have to do anything. You press that button and tend to whoever's hurt. There we go. Alright, uh, last but not least, let's do the fire panic. And this is instant, well all these are instant dial, so. Fire is always instant dial, I think, like whether it's a sensor or a panic. So let's go ahead and do fire. Restore that. And then I will show you how to do a full system test. So I'll show you guys what I mean. Check tail line. There we go. Alright, so let's say, obviously, um, I will, uh, word of precaution, always put it on test mode, though, before you do this, because it still sends them a message, at least on my system it does. To do a system test, go star, scroll, you see it says zone bypass, scroll all the way over to user functions and press star going to ask you for your access code. You're going to scroll all the way over to... I could just went the other way, but... System test. Push star. What this is going to do is going to test the adapter. You'll see everything flash, everything. And I'll let them know it's communicating, right? And then when you're done with that, you just exit to the main screen, and it'll beep uh, to let you know when it is done sending that test signal, and that everything's good. Kind of like the medical alarm. It Again, it restores itself. No need to enter a code. You'll hear that in a moment. There we go. So that's good. Um, let's see. What else should we do? Um, oh, let me show you how to do a walk test. So, to do a walk test, you gotta go star, you gotta go to user functions again, and enter your code, scroll over to walk test, push star, always put it in test mode, and I will show you guys how you do a walk test. For each sensor that trips okay, it's silent sound. Don't do the smoke on a walk test. Do that separate. Or at least in my opinion, you should.
I know we just tested this one, but we're doing it, so we might as well double check it. Hold on. Yeah, there's our two gig. I was working on that. More on that to come later. Um, last one. There we go. To exit out of walk test mode, you go to star. Scroll back over to user functions, enter your four digit or six digit code, whichever one you have. Go back over to walk test and just hit star again. There you go, it restores itself. Um, so again, another thing to keep in mind when it comes to testing your alarm system is to be 100% sure um, you do indeed either call your monitoring station or you put it on test mode before you begin. This will save a lot of headache and a lot of false alarm fees. Um, and it'll also save the authorities time as well. Um, another thing I want to show you guys just really quick is let's say you have a babysitter or someone like that pet sitter. You know like a dog walker or something like that walk in the house. And you want to you gave them a temporary code and you want to be sure they uh, open you know armed and disarmed. That they, uh, yeah, if any alarms are off, what zone, why, what time. I'm going to show you guys how to view the event buffer. Uh, I promise I won't bore you much longer. That'll be the last thing we do today. So go to, to view the event. Oh, wow. To view the event buffer, go to star. Scroll over to user functions again. Star and wait for a digit code. First thing that'll pop up, usually at least on mine, is event buffer. Press star. First, I was very confused when I first started looking at this. I see the time and the date, and I'm like, the heck is that? And so I looked up online how to switch. You hit star. So I accessed the menu at this date and time. Go all the way back to March 5th when I did a test. Fire trouble when I cleaned out the smoke detector this date and time. Tamper restore. Living room smoke. This date and time. Let me see if I can have an arm or disarm here. Um, zone alarm, for example. Back door. This is all from the walk test. See when my dad left for work. Here we go, 6.31 a.m. Special closing, so that means my dad used the fob. Uh, opening by user code 40 means he used the keypad to disarm it probably because he had to grab his fob from his keys. So, you know, that's just a little example. 4.21 a.m., there was a quick exit. You can even see things like that. So, you know, and then just pound out to exit. You don't have to put it in test mode to do that. Last thing, since we did, tested it, I'll show you how to clear the alarm. Let's go star 3. You got alarm memory in here. Just arm your system. We'll say stay. Into your four digit code. System disarm, no alarm memory. You go star three, no alarm to memory. Pound out. You're good to use your system again. So that was today's test guys. And real quick, I'm gonna take it off of test mode. Go to alarm history. We'll refresh the page. Now don't freak out if you see that if you're using the computer. Sometimes you have to refresh the page. So here we go. So see, we got so I placed on test. We done the burglar alarms in the bathroom, zone eleven. Recent close. We restored. We entered the authorized recorded code. We're on premises. So fire alarm smoke detector. We zone thirteen, the living room smoke. We tested that. Keypad, panic, medical, and fire. We did walk test, and then we restored walk test, and then we cleared off from zone. Yeah, we cleared from test. So we're good to go. We can go up here, and we can log out. So that is pretty much it, guys. Um, you know, I mean, it's a good system. You know, it does what we need it to do. Um, 
we got it installed, as some, if some of you don't know, by a local dealer called Protect Your Home. They're all across the U.S. So I appreciate your time today, guys. That's it for this month's DSC test and another one to come at the late end and early beginning of next month. Thank you, guys. Stay safe. Happy April.